Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews and we are looking at this today. It's the Shelby uh, IPA by Thornbridge uh, Brew. It's 5% ABV and comes in with these 440 ml cans. Yes, hi there. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. It really helps us content providers and it helps me understand the content you like. Um, interesting this one. Just see if it's a publicity stunt or not. I've had a few of the uh, Peaky Blinders drinks before. Um, I think the other stuff I've had been made by Sadler's Brewery. I've had uh, one of their lagers, which was genuinely horrible. I'm not a lager drinker anyway, but I, I felt like their lager was, was really a terrible lager, very weak, very poor. And I've had their um, Dark Spice Rum, which was unbelievably good. Uh, if you're a rum fan, if you're, if you're a dark rum fan or a spice rum fan, definitely seek out the Peaky Blinders one. It, it's, it's lovely. This one um, I had before, it's obviously based on the um, Peaky Blinders TV show, which started in 2013. What they've tried to do with this one is rep re try and represent what an IPA would have been like in the 1920s. So to do that, they've used uh, the Fuddle Hop and the Branding Cross. So from the fuddle, I suppose we're expecting floral, grassy notes to come through, but fairly subtle. Um, from the uh, Brandling Cross one, um, I'm expecting some lemony flavours to come through and maybe a little bit spicy. They've also used some old school malts, including the Crystal and the, the Munich as well. So yeah, we're going to expect something to be subtle, understated a little bit, but a traditional Old English IPA should be good. Um, Thornbridge themselves, I've reviewed a couple of their beers, drunk quite a lot of their beers. Very good brewery, they make some very good stuff. So, our expectations of this are quite high. Uh, one, it's got the, the Piggy Blinders uh, uh, name to it, and I think this is one of the only products to say is, is really officially endorsed by the Piggy Blinders um, brand. Uh, also Thornbridge, so it should be a cracking drink. We'll wait find out. Yes, yeah, so it's interesting. They've tried to use um, well, they've used a Fuddles hop, which which is an old-fashioned hop. hop. Um, the Brambling Cross, not as old-fashioned as the. I think it arrived in the late nineteen twenties. So. It might have uh, been seen something like this in a bar where the Bleaky, Peaky Blinders used to drink. So let's have a look. It's um, poor, clear, very nice golden colour, good two finger, fluffy white head. A um, lot of carbonation still going on in there, a lot, a moderate amount of carbonation still going on in there, but the fairly large bubbles on that head. So. Um, I think it's going to thin out fairly quickly. It may leave a little bit of lacing, may, may not. Let's get our nose in there, shall we? It's woody, it's grassy, it's sweet, floral. There's maybe, there is fruit. Getting peach, definitely getting some peach and, and a little bit of lemon. Yeah, the lemon in there is quite sharp actually. Yeah, on, on the aroma side, it actually it's it's quite nice. So that it's against the woody grassy aromas, um, that nice little sharpness of, of lemon is quite nice. Quite like that. Let's uh, taste it. Cheers, everybody. Okay, for being honest, there's not a lot to say about it. It is a traditional IPA, so it is subtle, unstated, fairly mellow. Um, it's malty, but hoppy as well. Uh, it has got that traditional IPA flavour profile in that it's well balanced, a good medium uh, mouthfeel, and a bit of, bit of finish. Um, yeah, there's, there's, it's satisfying. There's, there's not a lot more you can say about it, but it is actually 
very very tasty it's five percent so it is a sessionable easy drinking beer So as you drink it, you get that nice full mouth uh, mouth feel, which which is quite nice. Picks up some of the floral and lemon um, flavours, very very mild. And then as it lengthens out down your throat, that bitterness comes through. It's, it's very nice, easy drinking. It's not as good as um, other Thornbridge brews. Probably wouldn't expect it to be, to be fair. But it's very nice, actually. I'm, I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I didn't think it would taste as good as it does. They've done a good job. You can imagine this being something very similar to this being drunk in the 1920s. So it's, it's very nice from, from that perspective. Do you know what? I'm going to score this 7 out of 10. Cheers, everybody.